Welcome back, this is Tomb Raider PlayStation Portable by Cause Design, 10th Anniversary 2006. It's been created by, or been put back together by enthusiasts, and these are the levels they put back together in a play somewhat playable level, or playable way. They're broken, they don't work, so... Um, Sanctuary of Scion, or Scion, or whatever it's called. This is the one with the big staircase, yeah, yeah the centaurs turn up and then... Um, there's a big sphinx under the ground or something. There they are. They put some of the models in the level, but they don't do anything. Nice to see them animated at some point. Guns. Do we have guns? Do they take them off of us? I don't remember. Unless that's the machine guns. I don't know. She can't really shoot anything because it's all broken up the, um, the way it works, but. Lara, what are we doing? Trying to pick these up. Come on. She can pick things up. I think it crashed initially. I think on the earlier builds it didn't work very well. When they first put them out, they were really bad. So you can pick things up now, but you can't really use anything. This, oh. Normally you'd climb up through the back of the Sphinx's back or something. Now, there'd be like a little bit where she'd come out, but I think that's not. Yeah, that I yeah I've, I have a somewhat of a memory of. There's so many sphinxes in there. There's about three of them, I think, in this game. Maybe even four, even. There's a little one in the in the commune, and then there's a bigger one, and there's another one, and there's this one. So. Looks like lava. I think it was. Um, I don't know what that is at the bottom. It's like it's lit up. Get one here. This, yeah, I remember this when you have to climb on the back of this bloody thing. Laura, what are we doing? You had to get an object and then put it on there, and it did something. I can't remember what it is you had to do. Yeah, there's something we need to do there. Those textures are very familiar. Yeah. Oh, that one's missing. Yeah, is that lava? It just looks like lava. Something. Is that when it does a thing with the camera? Something. Different sides though, because I think the um, in the original game it wasn't like pillared or whatever it is there. Lara, break your ankles. <laughs> it's like light coming out of the ground. That must be where it would do a, a thing with the um, camera, I think. Yeah, I had to get that door open. Oh, that was a bit where you had two massive statues and there was like water and you had to drain it. Is that what that underneath? There was a thing. <sighs> yes, there's something to do with that, but I didn't, I haven't, I don't think I got that far on this before when I looked at it the other day. But I do remember there was a thing where you go underneath and there's like a big massive room. It's not lava, then is it lava? Maybe it is in the game, maybe you get your feet burnt if you stand on it. It's quite a nice effort, that. Like a cavern. Alright, lava, what are we doing? This was the room with the invisible thing and you have to jump on it. Or something. Like an invisible block. Lava, what are we doing? That might be lava. I think if it was the full game, you'd probably burn yourself then. You'd just go... <laughs> yeah, again, not a lot you can do on this level. You can climb up. I think I did on the... when I played it before, a couple of days ago. But... It's really glitchy and she bugs out all over the place. I did get onto that area. I think I did. I thought there was a side area, but I'm not sure what's in them doors. There was a bit where you went in and got a key or something? I don't know. I 
having looked at the guide for the previous level um, and there was the bit with the Midas thing I think that it generally conforms to the same layout in general so in terms of like how things work um, there probably are differences though but I don't know what they are Nice looking though, that's got a nice look to it, even though it's quite an old, it is fairly old. It was from, meant for the PlayStation Portable, so that's... Gosh, what was that, 300 megahertz? I don't know what the processor was. I'll have to look that up and see what that actually was capable of. But, um... This is independent of that, but it, the engine would have been built for that. Even that inside of it, that's, that, that's not implemented. That's the stairway that's not been... Oh dear. And then that would be, I don't think that underneath is implemented, and even if you can get that door open, I don't think there's a... The bit with the big statues full of, with the water that you've got to low, I don't think that's even in. I don't know. I mean, so, yeah, that's not, that's broken, that is. Oh, uh. well, we're doing some weird stuff here. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, I'll quit that and come back in, and we'll do with the next level. He'll follow straight on with that. Ugh, this this game is fun. It's fun. What level are we doing? It was yeah. What they did was this is the they they repurposed the game and then called it the Indiana Jones and then Natla's Mines became Nazi base. I hope they change that back to Natla's Mines because. Um, it's the same basic difference. As somebody said on a, I don't know if it was on a forum or what, that um, you could have had a slight tweak of the story when Natla was in league with the Nazis, and then because she's immortal practically, and then she would have used them to kind of get closer to what she wanted. So it's plausible if she's been around thousands of years that she would have been creeping about in 1940 something. And then it would have tied in quite well with that. That would have been plausible, I suppose. And would have added another dimension of sort of evil creepiness to the level that the Nazis would have been doing something. Like, I mean, Tomb Raider is based on Indiana Jones in any case, so it wouldn't have been a big stretch to have sort of said that. But they might end up removing all of the references to that. To make it more authentic to the original game, I think so. Got to have the obligatory lava going on. Lava. I don't want to fall down there because I can't get out. <laughs> oh, lava! Be careful. Yeah, this does it does sort of conform to the broadly to the um. Don't know if I can get over there. There's the bit we had to move an engine thing, and then you had to go. Oh, what was the? You had to get your guns back, and they took them off, and they put them in a in a trailer thing, and you had to get the fuses, and to lower the crane, the crane to lower the room. It's like, oh. go on, go on there. it's a nice, it's nicely done. I mean, this isn't really like bad or anything. I mean, this is almost Angel of Darkness looking in some ways. This is reminding me of oh, Lara. <laughs> wow. Okay. Help. I can't get out of here. That's funny. Well, she certainly would have been burnt alive falling down there. It has aesthetics of... I think it was the Parisian... What was it? The digs under the Louvre. And then the Hall of Seasons. There's, you can, I can, they did take some textures from Angel of Darkness as well, I think, on this one. Um, officially, not the people putting it back together. It must have been the original core design people that did that. Uh, yeah, there's a, a Parisian uh, dig under the Louvre type um, vibe with that, which isn't a bad thing. I'm I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Angel of Darkness. I, people say, "Oh, it's terrible." I'm like, oh, "I quite like the um, Angel of Darkness." Yeah, it had its problems and it had, had major issues with that project, but it was a very one of the most interesting stories, and the music was very well done. 
um, it was a good effort in some ways but then it was like such a they had such issues with it that it was it was um, it wasn't good enough but it was a very interesting game and with patches it is playable and it's not really that bad but um this some levels on here they have the two mode of one aesthetic and then they have the edge of the darkness aesthetic and there's a little bit of legend in there because they did take the textures from that as well so it's 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 not a, it's, it's i think it's very well done you've got nice attention to detail um this is the bit where you've got to move the um you've got to move the thing out there's a block you've got to move Pull it or push it, I'm not sure which. And of course Lara looks more like, not so much the original Lara, but the, say the middle era, which would have been Legend, um, Anniversary Underworld type era. So that's not so bad because that's, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Legend um, or Anniversary really. Though I do like, I do think Underworld is probably the best of that era, I think, for the way it looks. But uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with the legend look. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, I don't like the modern ones. I'm not interested. There's a door, Lara. Can't you shoot an hole in it? Lara, you got to shoot holes in it. Foiled by a door. Damn. So I don't know if any of these are even openable. I don't know. Can we push that? Yeah, get, get out of that one. So, yeah, a yeah, nice lighting there as well. They've got that in the engine that there's the lighting. Can we get up here? Yeah, she climbs onto that. Oh, right. We've got to leave her here. What does that do? She's not. She's not doing that one. Sometimes you have to be right in the, in the in the front of it. It reminds me of, um, I think it's Tomb Raider 5, where Lara was in front of a filing cabinet or a door and you had to be like one step back and or she wouldn't open it. It's like that, maybe. Lara. No, it's not doing it. I can't get that to do anything. They, these might be glitchy because... Well, they're going to be the glitchy anyway, aren't they? She's not opening that. Lara, Lara. No, I'm not sure what's going on with that, actually. No, I can't get it. You've got to be... I mean, it doesn't help that the game's broken anyway, but... That's really annoying when you've got to try and get a little liner up in front of a bloody... Whacking great... How big would that be if it was, well, about two foot long, Lara? <laughs> not like it's tiny. Almost that texture there of the actual behind it looks a bit, um... A witch? On Tomb Raider 3? <laughs> Just a little bit. I'd love to see them remake that. That was an interesting level, the old underground. She's not doing that, I might... <sighs> okay. See, this has another witch. That tunnelling thing. There was that le that bit in, um... Where you have to drop into a shaft and then there's this thing tunnelling either up or down, I can't remember which way and you had to avoid it and you had, it was very difficult Where are we going Lara? I don't know if we can get out of the water if we fall in though, I don't know 